Hi everyone, how are y'all doing? So today I'm going to guide you. Uh, this is one of the most interesting subtopic in chapter 2 that I like and it's the last one which is sketching the graph of quadratic function. So sketching the graph has a few steps that you need to follow and it's very easy because the steps are all uh, already what we learned. So we just have to apply and then we have to draw, uh, sketch the graph. Now, let me bring you through what are the steps. So the first one, when you want to sketch the graph, you need to know whether it's a smiling face or a sad face graph, right? So if you identify the value of A, you will know uh, if it's positive, it will be smiling graph, okay? If it's a negative, it will be sad graph. So the first one, you need to know whether it's a sad or smile. So you have to find the shape, determine the shape. After that, you are going to determine the position of the graph. Now for this, I've done another uh, YouTube video where you can find, determine the position of the graph by using the discriminant. So I will, uh, you can click up here, right? I'll add a card up here so that you can click and straight be directed because this is very important. If you don't know the position of the graph, by just using the discriminant, then you would not be able to know uh, whether it's going to be above the x-axis or to the side, left, right, below, okay? Now, the third one, you're going to find whether it's a maximum or a minimum point by uh, using your vertex form of quadratic function, okay? So you have to change, if I say it's a general form, you have to change it to vertex form. So the point will be the h and the k, and your axis of symmetry will be x equals to h, okay? Now, uh, number four, okay, the fourth step, you have to solve fx equals to zero because you want to find uh, which part uh, or which uh, point does it intersect, okay, for x axis, okay? Which for x axis intersect, all right? Then the fifth one, you are going to find F0, okay, when X is equal to 0. So that means this 0 goes inside here. So you are going to find F0 so that you know what is the Y intercept. And once you already got all this, you can immediately start drawing your graph. So we are going to use this, okay. And we are going to do look at one example here. Okay, so I'm going to do this on a separate paper. Uh, first step, alright. So the question asks you to sketch the graph of a quadratic function. Okay, it's given as, the, as this. Then state the axis of symmetry. Okay, so it's pretty much uh, what we're going to do. First, first step, identify the value of A. Okay, so this is our, uh, so now this is the solution. Okay. So fx is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. So our a is 2. 2, is it greater than 0? Yes. So since it's greater than 0, okay, uh, the shape of the graph will be definitely smiling. Okay, so since it's smiling, of course the point will be here, right? So since the point will be there, it's going to be a minimum. Point. Now, since we already know this, uh, let's look at uh, second one to determine the position. Now, this is the first step done. Now, let's look at second step. The position by using the discriminant b square minus 4ac. Okay, let's uh, substitute all the values. Okay, b is 3. Okay, so 3 square minus 4ac. Okay, so here we get 9 minus uh, 8, 8 times 2. So here is positive. So here we get 25. So it looks like 25 is greater than 0. Okay, so if it's greater than 0, that means this graph, okay, intersects at 2. Okay, x exists at 2 points. Okay, so this one, if you still don't understand, please, please go back to my another video to know how the position of the graph, okay, how it works because this is very important. Okay, then second step done. Now third step. Okay, let's look at third step. Now third step, I'm going to determine whether it's a maximum or of course you already know it's a minimum. So we're going to change our function, okay, the quadratic function into vertex form, 
Now, if you remember, if you don't remember, <laughs> which I hope you remember, okay? If you don't, please go back to also to another video of mine, which I already told how uh, you're going to change general form to word text form. So general to word text, you're going to use completing the square. Okay, completing the square. Okay, we're going to use this method. So I'm going to do here step by step. So first, I'm going to put the 2 outside, factorize it out. So this is going to be x squared plus 3 over 2x, okay, minus 1. Now, okay, x squared plus 3 over 2x plus 3 over 2 over 2 because b over 2, right? So this is 3 over 2 over 2. So that means this is 3 over 4. So that means I'm going to plus 3 over 4 square then minus 3 over 4 square and minus 1 so now i'm just going to take this so 2 x square uh i'm just going to write x plus 3 over 4 put the square out so minus 3 over 4 square and so this is going to be minus 9 over 16 minus 1 so here i'll get 2 x plus 3 over 4 so here key in calculator minus 9 over 16 minus 1 we obtain minus 25 over 16 all right now i'm going to expand back the 2 okay inside so here will become 2 x plus 3 over 4 square minus 2 times 25 over 16 is 25 over 8. Okay, done. So we already find our vertex form. So this is our final. So this is the vertex form. Okay, from the vertex form, can we identify the minimum point? So obviously the minimum point is H and K. So that means it's this and this. So minimum point K is going to be 3. Uh, it's definitely not going to be 3 over 4 because X plus 3 over 4, right? Since it's negative, it's supposed to be negative, right? H. So that means here is positive. So we just have to write a negative here. Negative 3 over 4. And our K is negative 25 over 8 okay so i hope you understand why the h is negative okay because here is supposed to be negative but since here we got positive we have to change here to negative now we already find our minimum point and of course our axis of symmetry that means x equals to h so let me write here axis of symmetry x equals to x equals to h right so h is negative 3 over 4 okay done so we already got until step 3 we are almost there now looking at step 4 so step 4 asks us to solve fx equals to 0 okay so Solving fx, okay, first let me write the fx, fx is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. So let's solve fx equals to 0, okay. Now, uh, fx equals to 0, so 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. Okay, solving this, factorizing, so 2, 3 and negative 2. So we get 2x minus 1, x plus 2. Okay, so that means our value of x is 1 over 2. And our another value of x is negative 2. So we got 2 x axis intercept already. Now... Number five, find fx. Okay, so we find 
F0 now. Okay, we're going to find F0 now to determine the y-intercept. Okay, so y uh, F0, that means we're going to substitute all the x0. Okay, 3, 0. So, I guess eventually here we get 0, 0. So, here minus 2. So, here we already get our y-intercept. So, we have all the information now. So, this one are the x-intercepts. Okay, so we can already draw. Now, I'm going to draw here. So, I'm going to use the information. Okay. So, I think it's still in the frame. Alright. So, first, I'm going to draw my x-axis and y-axis. Okay. So, this is x. This is y. So, of course, usually, the first thing that I would suggest students to to uh, put the point will be your x axis okay so since we know negative 2 and 1 over 2 so at least I can put here 1 over 2 negative 2 okay and do we have our y intercept yes negative 2 so I'm just gonna put here negative 2 so we already got this now what is our minimum point so we have our minimum point negative 3 over 4 and negative uh, 25 over 8. So negative 3 over 4 will be negative 0 0.75. Okay, negative 3 over 4 is negative 0 0.75. So it's somewhere here. Okay, now how about negative 25 over 8? So negative 25 over 8 is negative 3. So it's somewhere down here. Okay, so that means our point okay the axis of symmetry is this okay this is our axis of symmetry now i'm going to draw the graph okay now make sure it passes through all these points okay so Okay, so now we can write here x equals to negative 3 over 4. So why did I write this? Because the question eventually asks us to state the axis of symmetry. So you can also write here axis of symmetry x equals to negative 3 over 4. So sketching the graph is really, really interesting. All you need to know is the steps. And I'm going to post these uh, notes uh, in our Telegram group. So don't forget to join the Telegram group. And until I see you in my next video. Bye.